What's up, ninjas? Today we're gonna pick the spices up out the out the sink. I'm gonna show you how to make pizza uh, using relatively attainable ingredients from your local supermarket. Let me get those spices. The spices that got knocked off were garlic powder and oregano. All right, along with those spices, we have a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Uh, we have some of this here food lion pizza sauce, pizza sauce, and we have some. Uh, uh, you know, pepperonis. We got some mushy rooms right there. Some mild cheddar, special ingredient, string cheese, and a ninja dog. Your head of the mushrooms. Hey, what's up, a little bit? Woo! All right. So we're gonna get on to making this pizza. So luckily, well, I'll put this so you can see me chopping up the mushy rooms. Boom! Shout out to uh, Cooking with K. Uh, she likes the mushy rooms. Boom. And we just use a patented Ginsu ninja knife. To, okay, that's ninja pretty good, I guess. Fuck it. <laughs> we're just going to chop up these mushrooms. Because they're going to go on our mushroom and pepperoni pizza. Which is what we're about to make. So we just, you know, okay. That. Ninja, boom, whatever. Get that taken care of. Check, check. Get this one over here. Ninja that, ninja ninja and ninja and we got some mushrooms cut up there we're gonna ninja use mushrooms ninja 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 and ninja and one more for good measure that uh, looks like psychosyllabus it's not whatever it's happening so we got the mushrooms they're all cut up booyah and that is important so what do i do after this i move these to the side Whoa. Take a, a sip of the Keystone Never Bitter Beer Face and show you the cheese. Boom, look at all this mozzarella cheese my sister Sylvia gave me. I've been making pizzas from now to next year with this shit. It's like five pounds of cheese. And we need a pizza pan. And now with that pizza pan, what we got to do is break open the pizza crust. I do that by... Uh, a, getting rid of a piece of mushroom that's just hanging out and we just uh, basically unwrap it like so if it's like those biscuits that my mom used to make uh, they're popping fresh so you have to pop it so boom and you see how it pops boom and then you plop that down like so on the pizza pan like so on you listen to me all right now comes a problem this will fold out into a rectangle of some sort. See? And so, you got to be able to do something like this, I guess. And let's, let's turn this camera down. There you go, so you can see what I'm doing. But luckily, this pan is uh, big enough for me to stretch it. Okay, that teared a little bit. Whatever, it doesn't matter. None of this matters. And we just spread that bad boy out like so. And we get in there with your knuckles, I'm guessing. Okay, probably not all those knuckles that have made holes in the pizza. I've never done that before. Oh, uh, well, how do you mess up a pizza? Girl? You give me the... Oh, man, I messed all this up. Anyway, we'll just fold it upon itself. And I hope like hell this works. Because, uh, you know, it is what it is. So we're stretching the dough. I'm not, I'm not Italian. I don't know how this really works. But whatever. So we stretch the dough stretch the dough and we'll be back in a second and this will be all looking excellent peace ninjas all right ninjas i messed the dough up but i folded it together and then made a ball and i tried to you know flatten it out with this as an impromptu rolling pin once you uh, unfurl that dough and it gets stuck together, it gets into a ball, and you think you can mold it like regular dough, but you can't. And you'll start cursing. Praise Jesus. You'll do it. Trust and believe. That's what happens. And that is what's up. So now that we've got this pizza crust ready to go, we got to break out the sauce. So you pop the sauce off, and get yourself a spoon. And you put the sauce on there. Not too much now. You take the spoon and you frazzle it out a little bit, you know. Just frazzle it out. Granted, with the the way the dough is working, it's going to puff up. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work. But it's alright. 
it doesn't matter. None of this matters. Carl, Aqua Teen Hunger Force fame, that's the truth. And we just spread that pizza sauce out like so. And that looks pretty good in my opinion. So that's good to go. So you cap off this. Booyah. And then you add a little bit of... Well, you were going to add it. Oh. Alright. Get a little bit of garlic powder on there. Just a little bit. Not too much. Yeah, okay, a little bit too much, whatever. And then throw some oregano on that bad boy. So you just pop that up. Some oregano on that there sauce there. Boom, 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 boom. Oregano fried. No problem. And then you shake up the shaky cheese. Oh, get the right size. And you put a little bit of the Parmesan cheese up in there. Give the sauce a little bit of extra flavor. All right, you got that going on. Boom, you're halfway to the good. And then, whew, you grab the mozzarella cheese. And take the mozzarella and you put a little bit of cheese on there. Just a little bit. Oop. Spread it out because it's some thick cheese here. You gotta spread it out a little bit. Put a little bit of cheese on there, like so. And a little bit more cheese. Yo, shout out to Kitty of the KKFC. I'm doing this for you. Uh, and I'm doing this for Gold Mask. And, you know. Uh, Tej and Jess and uh, Polly and the rest of the crew. Uh, we're gonna make us a pizza. All right, KKFC Ninjas, pizza time. So we got a little bit of that going on. All right. Now it's looking like it. I made way too many mushrooms for this pizza, and uh, I have to agree that since you know the pizza done shrunk on me. This may be uh, too many mushy rooms, but we're going to put it on there anyway just because why not make it extravagant. Put a little bit of that there, a little bit of that there. Okay, my ninja knife not ninja that properly. And ninja that over there, a little bit over here. Well, that looks like that looks like a solid base on the mushy rooms. And then we... Uh, pop out the flavor enhancer which is known as the pepperoni. Now the pepperoni will give it a little bit more saltiness and grease. You know back in the day you didn't want grease because you get the zits all over your face but today we're going to get the grease all over our face. So we're going to put spread these bad boys out. Make sure that stuff tastes good. You know, put that over there. This is going to be awesome. Like uh, happy little trees. Uh, these are happy little mushrooms and pepperonis. Now God wants us to be this way. He's like, hey, Ricky, make a pizza. I'm like, all right, cool, let's do this. So whatever happens is meant to be happening. This dough does look like it has shrunk, and it's now a personal pan pizza and not a regular large. I don't know what's going to happen. Kind of scared to find out, but yeah, Jesus, Jesus has got this. All right, so we got that going on. Whew. And now we're going to go with some mild cheddar. Take the mild cheddar. And pop them bad boys on here. Just put a little bit of that over here. Uh, a little bit over here. And there's a telephone. Interrupting my video. These things happen. And put a little bit of mild cheddar right there. And uh, sit this up here like so. Put that over there. And now we're going to pop open this here, which is a string cheesy. And we open the string cheesy. Get our kitchen shears. And chop some mozzarella. And okay, well that's not working real hot. We put that over there, put that over there. Put this over here. And chop the mozzarella, chop the mozzarella, chop the mozzarella, chop the mozzarella, ninja and okay. I've not mastered these uh kitchen shears. Look at this shit. It's just all over the damn place. That is not how a ninja is supposed to behave, but whatever. I don't know anything about that, so I'll ninja that there. Ninja that there. Uh-huh. Put some of that over there. And it was go. And eat the rest, because that's how we roll. Alright, so we got that going on. 
I'm thinking we just need to add a little bit more mozzarellas up on the top here. Around the sides. Get the crest all good. Mm-hmm. And this should be a flavorful experience, I'll tell you what. This is a, a ninja pizza for the, the Lord, I'm guessing. Alright, so we got that. And we're good to go. So we got this. It looks smaller than what we wanted. No pun intended. Uh, Jesus is funny that way. But we're going to go put this in the oven. And uh, I'll see you in two and two. Peace, ninjas. Alright, ninjas. The pizza's been in there for about 16 minutes on 400. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Uh-huh. It's looking like a pizza. Ugh, oh. Not looking too bad. Looking like it needs a little bit more cheese, in my opinion. We might have to fix up on that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we're going to put it under the broiler, and I'll be back in two and two. Peace, ninjas. What's up, ninjas? And today, we got the broiler. It's a beep, beep, beep. And I think the cheese is ready to rock. Let's find out what it's looking like. Ah, oh, sweet Jesus. You see this? See that nice looking cheese? Oh, brown on the top. That's why you put it in the broiler. So you can get this nice cheesy char or whatnot going on. And uh, praise Jesus, it's turning out a lot better than what I thought it was. Hey, man. All right. So basically what I gotta do, though, is flop it up and see. Check the bottom. It looks pretty all right. Things are looking freaking fantabulistic. So we just ninja that inside there. And cut this bad boy. Mm. Uh, you just gotta... Ninja this pizza. I'm not good at cutting, but ninja that pizza real good. All right, see what happens when I okay. Oh, it's extra cheesy. Oh, I maybe put too much cheese. You never know, you never have too much cheese. All right, oh, there we go. Got it separated. You can see it separated because we don't did that. All right, and then uh, flip floppity floop, put it over here. Scoop, scoopity scoop. Oh, and this right here. there all right so we've got it oh it is, it is crisply hot oh my goodness we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut a couple smaller pieces in case my mom wants a small piece come over here and then there's that shit up nice oh hell yeah all right that's good I might as well ninja this little piece here there we go hmm might as well just go ahead and cut it all in the fucking eights or whatnot. Who cares? Uh, I wanted a big piece, but it doesn't really matter. Help it cool down, I'm thinking. There we go. Look at that. All right. So this is what the pizza's looking like. This is me with the pizza. And this is me if I was review, bro. Trying to get a thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Review Bro, I love that nigger. Uh, whatever. Alright, so we're gonna go here and try try the pizzas. Uh, we got pizzas everywhere. It's, oh, it is super hot. It is very, very hot. It looks flavorful. It looks tasty. Uh, let's try this piece. Will this piece not be quite as hot? Oh, it looks pretty hot. The mushrooms. Oh, we got cheese bowl. Alright, well, let's see what we got here, ninjas. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. It's a lot of cheese. Mm. Woo! <laughs> mm. This turned out excellent. A lot better than what I thought for. Oh my goodness. Quite possibly one of my best tasting peaches ever since I used that daggone garlic salt up in there. Mm. Super tasty. Well, there you have it, Ninjas. Pizza, mushroom, and uh, pepperoni style. <laughs> Love you guys. Love Jesus and do the best you can every day. Peace, Ninjas.
Take care. Have a great day.